I am R. Jamna Rani, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Kesar College of Arts and Science for Women. Now I explain about introduction of DBMS. I explain the following topics, purpose of database systems, view of data, data models, data definition language, data manipulation language. Introduction. DBMS is a collection of interrelated data and set of programs to access the data. DBMS contains information about a particular enterprise. DBMS provides an environment that is both convenient and efficient to use. Database applications, banking, airlines, universities, sales, manufacturing, human resources. Database touch all aspects of our lives. Purpose of database system. In early days, database applications were built on top of file systems. Drawbacks of using file system to store data. Data redundancy and inconsistency. Multiple file formats, it makes duplication of information in different files. Difficulty in accessing data. Need to write a new program to carry out each new task. Data isolation, multiple files and formats, integrity problems, integrity constraints become part of program code. How to add new constraints or change existing one. Levels of abstraction. So there are three types of uh, levels available here. One is the physical level, second one logical level, third one view level. Physical level, it is the lowest level. It describes how your data stored in a database. Next, logical level, what type of data stored in that database and the relationship between the those datas. Third one, view level, it is the highest level. Application programs hides details of data types. Views can also hide information for security purpose. For example, salary. Instance and schemas. Similar to uh, it's similar to variables and types of programming languages. Schema, the logical structure of the database. And also, it's a skeleton of the table. Example, the database consists of information about a set of customers and accounts and the relationship between them. It's similar to information of a variable in a program. There are two types of schema. Physical schema and logical schema. The database design at physical level that is called physical schema. Database design at logical level is called logical schema. Instance, the actual content of the database at particular point in time. Uh, it's like a value of a variable. Physical data independence. In the ability to modify the physical schema without changing the logical schema is called physical data independence. Applications depend on the logical schema. Data models. It consists uh, data, data uh, relationship, data semantics and data constraints. There are two types of uh, data models widely used. One is the entity relationship model. Second one is the relational model. Some other models we are used. Object oriented model, semi structured data model and the network model, hierarchical model. First one, entity relationship model, ER model. So ER model of a real world. So entity nothing but real time object is called entities. The that is uh, a customer, accounts, bank, branch, salary. These are called entities. Relationship between entities. The account number by the customer, John. Relationship set, depositor, associate customer with accounts. Widely used for database design. Database design in ER model usually converted to design in the relation model, which is used for storage and processing. Some example for entity relationship model. Next, relational model. The data are stored in tabular format. Next, some other example for relational database. Next, database languages. There are two types of database languages available here. One is the DDL, another one is the DML. DDL, nothing but data definition language. It specifies notation for defining the database schema. 
DDL compiler generates a set of tables stored in a data dictionary. The data dictionary contains metadata. The metadata nothing but data about data is called metadata. And also it consists database schema, data storage and definition language. Next data manipulation language. Language for accessing and manipulating the data organized by the appropriate data model is called DML. DML also known as query language. There are two types of query languages available here. One is the procedural and another is the non-procedural. Users specify what data is required and how to get those data is called procedural language. Non-procedural language. Users specifies what data is required without specifying how to get those data. So that is called non-procedural programming language. SQL is the most widely used query language. Thank you.